three, two, one, let's go! What's going on, family? Today is Monday, January the 1st, the first day of 2024, and this is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel, back with the latest end time news. Family, let's go! Family, let me start the video by saying thank you for tuning in with us today. No matter where you're watching from, I pray you're having a blessed day in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And if you can, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you got the notification bell turned on. That way you can be notified every time we upload a new End Times video. Now family, while we're at End Time News Channel, our ultimate goal is to point you to the cross. And John 3.16 says it all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay family, look. Welcome to 2024, the year that could be the return of our Messiah Jesus. Now family, going into this year, we're going to keep our eyes on the sky because we know our redemption draweth nigh. We see Bible prophecy conversion. We see end time events going down. We see the birth pains picking up. Family, the first day of 2024, Japan was rocked by a major earthquake. 2024 is coming in hot like a fajita, guys. But one thing we've seen a lot of in these end times, in the last days, they're calling good evil, and evil's being called good. I mean, family, all you really got to do is look around the world, and you can see that is the case. But family, one thing we do know is that the Most High God has a way of dealing with evil. Now let's get into today's video. And family, today we're going to be looking at a direct warning that the Most High God sent that man right there, Pope Francis. Now, we've talked about Pope Francis a lot on this channel before. Like I said, he's on a lot of people's false prophet watch lists, including mine. And family, since taking the job of Pope, well, he said some very strange things. He's really attacked the Bible. He said the life of Jesus ended with the failure on the cross. And family, who could forget the time he said that if aliens come down to earth, well, he would baptize them. This man is idolized and almost worshipped by the Catholic Church. And family, like I said, well, he's done some really such things. Now, he recently made headlines. On December 18th, he once again reaffirmed to the alphabet community agenda, allowing the Catholic Church to bless them. In a mood that I gotta say is very antichrist in nature. And family, he did all of this on his 87th birthday on December 18th. But the day before that, he was sent a warning about this. Now family, I don't think we can forget when lightning struck the Christ the Redeemer statue. Or when lightning struck in Washington on Obama's birthday. Or guys, who can forget when lightning struck the George Floyd mural. Now, family, what we're going to be talking about right here, this warning that was sent to Pope Francis, this happened in Argentina. Now, I want you to know, Pope Francis is from Argentina. Okay, family, check it. That picture you see right there, that is a statue of St. Peter in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And you can see right there, he has a halo over his head, and he's holding the keys to heaven. And we know Pope Francis was once called St. Peter. Well, family, lightning struck this statue right here, this Catholic statue. Look at these headlines. This is from a blog called Taylor Marshall. Shocking twist. On Pope Francis' birthday, lightning strikes and halo disappears. Yes, family, this happened on his birthday, the day before he released that agenda. Now, this next headline comes from Pope Head, and it reads, Buenos Aires lightning on the halo and keys of St. Peter Berligola at the end of the road. Now, family, I really don't believe in coincidences too much, and it's not a coincidence that the mainstream media is not really reporting on this. And I did some research, and this appears to be true. This is what Google said about it. Now, the claim is that lightning struck a statue of St. Peter on December 17, 2023, the day before FS was released by Pope Francis. Now, this happened on Sunday, December 17, 2023, when lightning pulverized the key and halo of the statue of St. Peter. Located on the facade of the Sanctuary of Our Lady of the Rosary of St. Nicholas, north of Buenos Aires, Argentina. So guys, the day before Pope Francis releases this new agenda he's got on his birthday, this Catholic Church statue was hit with lightning in his own country. Now family, I don't know if you remember this, but back in February 11th of 2013, when Pope Benedict announced that he was going to resign from office, well, lightning within a week and once on the same day struck the Dome of St. Peter's. 
And we've seen multiple times that the Vatican has been nailed with lightning. Now, family, in that picture right there to the left, you can see the statue that was hit. That's where it was located to the right, I guess. But you can see that his hand is missing. The lightning took his hands off that holds the keys to heaven. At least they say that's the keys to heaven. Now, some reports say that the halo was taken out by lightning too, but other reports say that that was removed right before this incident for renovations. So, lightning from the heavens come down and took off this statue's right hand. Now, family, let me tell you why I find this to be interesting. Matthew 5.30 And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to depart into hell. Now, family, we know the Catholic Church is a harlot church. It leads to sin. And family, one of its statues had its right hand cut off. Coincidence? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, my beautiful channel family, let's review this real quick. So on Pope Francis' 87th birthday, the day before he releases his new agenda that supports the alphabet community, in clear violation of what the word of the Most High God says, this statue in Pope Francis' home country is struck by lightning from the heaven and its right hand is taken off. Guys, I mean, Wow. I truly believe this was a direct warning from the Most High God. Now, while he didn't release his agenda to the next day, God knows our hearts. He knows our intentions. He knows our thoughts. He knew what Pope Francis had planned. Family, in the comment section below, I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this. This is a very interesting story. So let me hear what you guys have to say. Family, stuff like this makes it very apparent that we need to wake up. If you're asleep, wake up. We are in the final moments. We are in the end times. Jesus is coming soon. And this should really show some people that the Most High God is nobody you want to play around with. Family, Luke 21, 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads. For your redemption draweth nigh. Family, keep on looking up. We're going home soon. Now, guys, as we roll into 2024, one thing that we got to remember, the most important thing, guys, is that Jesus came and laid down his life for us. Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless, perfect 33 years. At the age of 33, he went on that cross. He paid our sin debt. He laid down his life so that we may live. He laid dead for how long, family? Three days, three days, three days. But death, the tomb, could not hold our Messiah because he defeated death. He ascended to go be with his father, the most high God, and family, we know he's coming back for his church soon. If you haven't already, believe the gospel of Jesus today, because the most high is faithful, he is just, he will forgive you your sins, and family, that's facts. Well, family, once again, let me say thank you for watching. I got a short uploading later about the earthquake in Japan, be looking out for that. And guys, hopefully I hear tomorrow about my start date on my new job, so if you guys could please pray over that, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our channel family. And if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And guys, if any of you want to contribute to independent news, there's ways you could do so. Check the description box for donation links. But guys, as always, the biggest form of contribution you can give us is your prayers. Well, my beautiful channel family, the next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in 3, 2, 1. I love you and remember, let's go Harpazzo! Later, guys. Keep on looking up.